I'm Piper Whiteman. Becca Heitzig. I'm Jenna Bowman. I'm Chloe Fremy. I'm Darren Stoltzenberg. I'm Tori Garretts. Coach Taylor Rohr. As far as you girls went 38-0 this year, undefeated season, state champion, but what do you think that Lincoln, as far as you guys made history, legacy you guys have made, that no other girls team, no other team in general has ever won a state title? Well, it wasn't our goal to go undefeated, but it obviously feels really good. And it was our goal all of this year, especially coming in second place last year, to get to that angle. And having our whole community behind us was amazing. And to just prove everybody right that we could do it is a really great feeling. You guys got second last year. You're on the redemption tour this year. You have one goal to get to that one spot and win the state championship. What was the mindset taking it each practice, each game, going against any opponent? I think that it was just really important to stay focused um, and to not look too far ahead. So, you know, the, the sting of losing the state title um, the year prior, I mean, it was just so fresh in our brains. You know, we played that video before every home game just as a, like, reminder that, you know, we have lost and we have a goal at the end of the season. Um, but we went game by game. It was never, you know, okay, like, we're doing this to win a state title. No, we were, you know, we were preparing for each team that we saw. We knew each team was going to give us a battle, and they did. And um, I think being prepared for each team along the way allowed for us to be competitive when it came time for the state tournament. Each game is a preparation for what is to come. And, uh, and they took it seriously, and they showed up to practice every day and to every game, and, and they, fought, they fought hard. Uh, for their goals. 30 to 40 points a game almost seemed like against your opponent this year. What what makes this team gel so well as far as the connection, but also defense, offense, your communication is out of this world as a team? Uh, well, first off, I'll start off, a lot of us have been playing together since we were young, so we've got that experience together. But honestly, it's just each of our character and knowing that in the end to win, we all have to work together and so that's what we do. We, we each know each other's strengths, so we try to feed each other's strengths, and that just kind of makes it all go together. You play at big schools like 3A, 4A. There was only a handful of games where you actually had close games. How important do you think it is to play those big schools like O'Fallon and, and teams that are ranked high in 4A to get you ready for that state level? You know, as we said, um, our goal this season wasn't to go undefeated. Um, it wasn't our intention, so that's why we packed our schedule with such hard teams. I know our coach did a good job of it, our athletic director. Um, we scheduled these games so that it would prepare us to play in the state finals. And you know, uh, the O'Fallon game, the Alton game back to back, that sticks out to me because that prepared us for what we were gonna see in the state finals, playing one team one day and then one team the next. You knew the pressure was on you to get to that level, but how do you feel like you girls relinquished that as a team? Yeah, I think a lot of the pressure was self-inflicted. I mean, the community of Lincoln supported us fully. Um, coming, coming up runner-ups, they were still so proud of us. And um, I think it was more we knew um, that we could we could do more. We knew that we we can bring a state championship to this town, this community. So um, we put that pressure on ourselves. And I think that ultimately ended up it ended up helping us in the long run because every practice we came in, we worked hard um, during postseason. We pushed each other so that so that we could make it to that state championship game and finally reach our our end goal. What would be the funniest moments from your girls from the girls um, team this year? Um, I think our funniest moment was definitely all of our van trips that we took. I have many funny moments, but specifically some of the practice moments, like people falling and all the team laughing at my jokes, like like uh, like people spreading coughs through cars. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's everything that we've said in our group chats. Mine's definitely finding Tori at all the games. <laughs> um, mine would definitely have to be our team laughing moments. Okay, mine is normal community. <laughs> okay, I think I have two. So there was one time Becca was dribbling on the floor, and after the game, Chloe was like, I ran so fast <laughs> for Becca to pass the ball, and she didn't pass it, she just shot it. And I did so fast as I ever ran in my whole life, and she was like emphatically swinging her arms. That was pretty funny. But I think the best part of everything that they said is definitely um, the debriefing afterwards. So 
you know, it happens and it's funny and then we discuss it and it becomes more funny and more funny and it's just, it becomes a snowball effect and everybody's laughing and, and it's just, it becomes a team thing and then it's just so much fun. What's your favorite part about her as a coach? Not only is she a great role model um, on the court, I know that she's always there for us and there for me and an open ear for us. Coach Farrar does a great job at noticing the strengths of all of us and then pouring into them how she can to make us the best people. Uh, my favorite thing about Coach is that she can be our coach during games and practices, but then outside of that, she's like our best friend and we laugh about jokes all the time. One thing about Coach Aurora is she's always going to believe in us and instill confidence in us and no matter what, she'll, she always makes each and every one of us feel loved and appreciated because she knows that we're all part of the team and it wouldn't be, we wouldn't be a team without each and every one of us. Um, my favorite thing about Coach Aurora is that uh, she never gives up on us uh, even when we've been together for four years and sometimes we can be a little ornery at times, you know, she never gives up on us and just always there for us. All right, so Coach, she is a great person. She's a great friend, a great role model, and she's also a great mom and always makes time for us. I think that number one for me is how well they love one another. And I think that that's so important. Um, it's so valuable to have teammates um, that are also your best friends and that you can lean on and you know will be there for you no matter what. And I, I see that in these girls and that's, that's just an incredible thing that everybody has that. Um, they're great role models for our community. Each one of them, they always do the right thing. Um, you know, on the floor, off the floor, they are people to look up to and the youth in our community definitely do. Uh, they have changed the face of Lincoln basketball. You drive through our town and you see little boys and girls out shooting hoops. That's a fun thing to see. Um, <clears throat> they're really good people. They're kind. They are considerate, they're compassionate, they are, they're, they're passionate about the things that they love. And um, I think that something that I admire about each one of them, something that is something that I wish that I had when I was their age is they are unapologetically themselves. And um, they're comfortable in their own skin. And that, that's a powerful thing for a high schooler to be comfortable in your own skin. And I think that it's an attribute to a lot of things, but you know, they, they just, um, you know, they, because they love each other so well and they accept each other the way they accept each other, um, they're okay with being who they are and, um, and celebrating each other's um, greatness and each other's flaws, because we all have flaws and, um, they pick each other up and they just, God, they love each other so hard and it's just, it's an incredible thing to see. I'm so proud of them. So from my point of view, this is the best overall girls basketball team I've covered in seven years of basketball. And not just from the FAMT town area, but I've talked to many people. They, they say hands down, this is the overall best team. What does that mean to you as obviously you're number one in the state? It really means a lot to us. Um, a lot of us have played basketball since we were younger, and you know, this is what we've been working towards all that time. And now once we've gotten together in high school, we just clicked and made it work. And then it means a lot that other people around us are saying it, but it means even more that we did this for our community and our community is saying this, because as you know, Lincoln Community High School never had a championship before this, we were the first one. And so being able to come back off of last year's um, loss in the state championship, being able to come back and do it for them, also for ourselves and what we've worked for it's just been incredible as far as the toughest game you guys had all this season what would that be when it came down to all right we can't lose this game we gotta get the ball rolling uh, so it was the peoria notre dame game that was our closest game that we had the whole season and i mean we were down by how much I think it was 16 at one yeah, point. Yeah, it was rough and our defense just wasn't doing what it normally did and so we knew we had to get back in shape and do what we, I mean, we wanted to win. And so Chloe, she's like, let's do this. And then we started getting points, getting points, racking them up and got what we wanted and won. What would be the favorite game to be a part of in the regular season? I think we had some pretty fun games this year, but I feel like the O'Fallon all in like weekend was really cool. I mean, we played in gyms that we've never played in before. O'Fallon was a really nice high school and it was really cool to experience that sort of atmosphere. And then same goes with the all in game. I mean, Lincoln travels and they traveled well and they came and supported us in 
and so it was just it was crazy the gym was packed and both sides and it was just, it was they were really cool um gyms and it was they were close games so it was just a fun experience you girls have been playing together since you were in second grade kindergarten um but together wise technically freshman year the longevity of uh, this team but in general you don't see a lot of longevity team and players playing together for so long what's that mean to you it means a lot because I um, mean, we've been playing together since we were in kindergarten. We went to tournaments at the gym. We play like 12 games a day and just enjoy ourselves and enjoy the sport. Uh, Carrie Froey, Chloe's mom at a young age, taught us some fundamentals. And we went to coach out. We would just do shooting form over and over and over again. Um, so it was a lot of hard work at a young age, but we it was enjoyable. And that's what was really special. Yeah, um, I obviously didn't go to the same school as them, but I grew up, you know, hearing about their success and hearing about how good they were. And uh, we would go to some some like basketball camps in the summer, and so I knew of them. And so going into high school, it was a little intimidating, you know, playing with these girls because they've been playing together for so long, and I knew they were so good. But um, once we started playing together, um, we just clicked, and that's what's really special is that you know they had that chemistry, they built up that chemistry for so long, but they welcomed me with open arms, and then. I was able to, you know, get in the mix of that, and that's what I think made our team so successful. Coach, when you were preparing in postseason, that's completely different than the, than the regular season. How did you prepare for each game, knowing that any game could be your last? Um, you know, we prepared the way we always do. Um, these girls, they like to know everything about the other team, and that's what we did. You know, we told them as much as we could. We gave them as much information as we could. My assistant coach is incredible on scout co, and he, um, you know, he pours over it, and um, and he helps to get these kids prepared and ready to go, and and we do that all season. You know, we we give them the information, we try to teach them how we're going to attack different things, and um, you know, the whole season leads up to postseason. So you know, there will be times where we're like, okay, we're going to treat this like pure Notre Dame, or we're going to treat it like O'Fallon, or we're going to treat it like Alton, like this is the type of team they are, these are the type of players they are, um, and um, and that and that's just kind of how we go about it. We don't look too far ahead, um, at least not for them. You know, him and I, we're looking at film maybe a game or two ahead. We're trying to figure out what's going to, what who we could see, be somewhat prepared so that that night we're not, you know, scrambling to find film, but um, for them, they're only prepared for the next game. You know, we don't talk about who's coming after. We don't We don't cross that bridge. We are crossing the bridge that's right in front of us. And so making sure that they have all the information and that they're ready um, when they step on the floor. And, and then it's just up to them to go out and play the game. And, um, you know, they have the tools. You know, they, they've got the fundamentals. They've got the skills. They've got the chemistry. We give them the scouting report. We spend a little bit of time preparing and um, they go out and they, they get the job done. They're winners. Coach, you start five, but you have one extra player. When you have, the, the, what's the disadvantages of that part of it? And then the advantage of you have such good talent on the court no matter who you start. Um, I would say that having, you know, six great players and to be quite honest, a deep bench. I mean, we, we had a deep bench and, um, at a lot of other schools, our bench would be starting. And um, advantages, I mean, they're just, they're so good. They got great team chemistry, it's just, it's unbelievable. I would say that it is not a disadvantage to have to ponder over who should start the game. But the way that I like to look at it, and something that I think is extremely valuable on a basketball team, is a team member, a person, like a person that can come off the bench and spark us and give us some life. Like sometimes things aren't falling, sometimes things aren't you know coming together. Uh, maybe we're not rebounding well, maybe we're not shooting well, maybe our defense is just kind of asleep. And when you have a, a player who can come off the bench and light it up and get things going, that's a valuable thing. You know, that's a secret weapon. And, um, and and Piper did that for us all season. And um, any time that I looked to her, that I called her number, she came off the bench and she gave us that spark. And um, to me, that's that's not a disadvantage. It's actually a huge advantage. And um, 
And I just, I think that, you know, a sixth man is one of your most valuable men on your team. And um, that's, you know, one of the reasons that we were, you know, as good as we are is because we have a defense, you know. Um, Chloe gets bloody nose. Uh, Jenna's in foul trouble. Uh, you know, it, you, you just you just don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. And so, um, and so, to be able to to look down my bench and say, okay, Piper, I need you to, I need you to be a guard today. I need you to be a post today. I need you to do this. And to have her to be able to be a utility player for us, it's just it's so valuable. I'm gonna miss the laughs. I'm gonna miss the fun. I'm gonna miss how well they love one another. I just think that. Um, that they're great teammates, every single one of them. There is not a person sitting on one of these desks that's not a great teammate. And um, when you are a great teammate, you're capable of anything. Um, they didn't care who scored the points. They didn't care who was on the floor. They didn't care who was getting the glory, as long as we were winning as a team. And, and that's a great teammate. And you don't find that all the time. And um, that is a battle I think most coaches face. And um, for the last four years, with these six kids, I haven't had to face that battle. And that's been, what a blessing that's been. Girls, what's it like playing with Chloe Froby? Number one player in the state, Miss Basketball and Gatorade Player of the Year. Yeah, Chloe is such a talented player on and off the court. Um, just playing with her every single day and going to practice and putting in the extra time, she always has something to teach me. And she was really a big role model for me ever since I was in kindergarten, so. I've just loved playing with Chloe because she lets me breathe on the court. Uh, without, like, without her there, I just feel like something's wrong. <laughs> but um, I have more to say. Uh, she, every time, like, I mean, my confidence may feel low. Chloe's the first to come over and be like, "We need you back." And that's like, the, it's her character. And like, oh, she's an amazing basketball player, but it's her character that means so much the most. She is the most humble person ever. Everyone's talking about her, how she is, she is, but. She is very humble, and what I love about her, she's always telling me, just keep shooting, and she's helping me with my shot and just making me the best player I can be. It's just how good of a team player she is, because if you watch her, you know, she'll score her points, but she also um, opens up shots for us, which it just shows how good of a team player she is, because she wants us to succeed as much as she wants to succeed. She's such an unselfish player, and if something's not going around the court or we're down on ourselves, she's always the spark and picks us back up and really pushes us to do our best. State semifinal game. You're one win away from winning the title. What were you thinking in that moment when you're back on that court at Redbird thinking, we're one win away from getting back to where we need to be but winning the gold? What's going through your mind? So for us five, we knew it was our last game. I mean, it could be our last game, and so we wanted to play our best that we could, and we wanted to get to the state championship game like we did last year and win. So I feel like that was the thing running all of our heads. Like, we knew how much of that goal we wanted, and so we just had to work our hardest. And we all knew that, like, we've been on that court before. We, we were very comfortable on it for volleyball and last year. So we knew how to play on it, and we've played together for so many years. So I think for me, I wasn't, I didn't feel as much pressure as people may have thought we did. State championship game. You grew a big lead against Chatham. Second half, Chatham cut into the lead big time. And then you guys were able to still keep keep the lead, even though they were cutting into the lead. But that last two minutes of the game, you guys would start hugging each other because you knew we did it. But then when you stormed the court, that's when it happened. What's going through your mind in that moment? Um, just tears of joy, honestly. Just thinking about all the hard work we put in unnoticed and noticed you know it's just like all of our dreams coming through true like we were just dreaming about it since we were in middle school and talking about it and everyone talking about it around us and the fact that it would finally happen and i got to experience it with my best friends it was truly the best feeling in the world honestly just embracing my teammates after we did it it was just a huge feeling of relief all of the hard work you put in uh, on and off the court and during season and off season it really just paid off and knowing that that was my last game with all of these girls, it felt great to be able to just know that we did it and we accomplished our final goal.
Lincoln Faithful was in full, full arms for you girls for the state title. The place was absolutely packed. Now, the legacy that you girls carry on. It's never happened here. State title, 38-0 undefeated season. What do you think about the legacy you girls have created now through the entire program? I think the legacy that we're leaving behind is more of just when you set your mind to something, you can achieve it through hard work and dedication. And another big thing that I think that we're leaving behind is just loyalty. I think a lot of people saw how, how much it paid off to, to just play so many years with the same people and to stay loyal to them and to just have that chemistry on the court. I think that that's going to leave a lasting legacy that people will see um, for years to come. Girls, Lincoln girls basketball team, 38-0 undefeated season, history-making season. Girls, I appreciate you taking the time with me to share your story that nobody really realizes until they actually hear it from you girls. Coach, thank you girls. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.